Good morning. Good morning, <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's all ladies today. Whoop, whoop. The uh, Brian and Drew are off in Italy doing, you know, Italian work, things. work things. I'm not uh, sure how much work Drew is going to do. He was talking about coffee a lot. I mean, that is part of work. That That's is just, true. That is that is what they do. As so we are drinking our yeah. hot beverages. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> we are we are winging it today. So um, no, we actually plan this. It's not complete. I mean, it is winging. It's winging. There's no script. But right now is always a planned winging it. Yeah, because we know what we're talking about. Sometimes more plain than others. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can say that I'm married to him. Um, today we are talking about the Twisby Eco Transparent <laughs> Purple, which is launching at 1 p.m. Eastern time today at yes. UA Pens. Um, today's like the national launch day for this thing. So, so this has been very anticipated yeah. for a very long time. I should have grabbed my eco collection. I have like all oh, of them. Oh, yeah. Should I go do that? Yeah. While okay. you do that, I will fawn over okay. you, how pretty you tell, this is. You tell about um, what it is and yes. what people need to know about it. I'll be right back. So the Twisby Eco is, you know, the one of the more affordable uh, Twisby pens. It's got the perfect screw cap, which is great. You can post it which is awesome. Uh, it it's matches got, your hair. It matches my hair, <laughs> which I'm not going to say that I dyed my hair because of the eco, but I'm also not going to say that I didn't. Um, I love how the Twisby Ecos have the demonstrator. It's just so great to see how much ink you've got. You get such a full capacity. And that's the thing I love about Twisby in general is you have so much capacity with this ink. You can just fill it up and you don't have to worry about filling it every day or every couple of days. It's great for journaling or on the go. Um, so you can take it with you. So I just, I love the Twisby in general. I am, I don't have a collection like Rachel's collection. I was like, I have a 580s, so a whole nother thing. Oh, oh and now I'm just gonna swoon over the 580s <laughs> as, as well. So but. I've been waiting for this color. Because, yes. You know, the yes. rainbow. Ew. Oh. This kind of covers like orange and yellow. So yeah, both it would be it. hard to have a, a yellow pen, I think, because translucent yellow. Mm, not popular. No, not a good. And Brian a good has one. a few more. I don't do the T. I don't like the T. I don't like the triangular. Grip. Yeah, I have a four finger grip. So um, do I. Cool. Yes, and, and people think I'm so weird. Like, I know. Oh, my fingers. We're we're not alone. If you're yeah. out there, let us know in the comments. Yes, <laughs> if you're less weird. <laughs> Um, so I don't like the T, the Eco T as much because the triangular grip just doesn't feel as good. Yeah, so it doesn't work. There's a couple more colors out there. I didn't get into the Eco collecting from the beginning. I can't remember which one was my first one. One of these. This, the, per, the pink one was my first one. I think mm. I had been here at Goulet for about eh, two weeks. And everybody was like, you need <laughs> a Twisby. That soon. And I'm like, okay, I do. You're right. <laughs> so we should ink this up. So yeah, yes. they're this is the, um, I don't know if they're gonna, there's gonna be another translucent color after this because they're kind of completing the rainbow. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what comes next. Yeah. Um, uh, and they're kind of running out of colors for these two. I guess you start going like gold or bronze or rose gold. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you could do some variation of some of these, like a lighter green or a darker green. Or like a deep teal. A deep teal, like if you could do that like, translucent maybe, but. Or like the uh, like the VP Tropical Turquoise, like mm, that, that teal. Yeah, one. that teal would be be good so, yeah um cool. so let's ink it up awesome um or do you want to swab these swab these yeah we quick. can swab some so i picked three of my favorite purples uh you can tell which one is my actual favorite by how little ink <laughs> is in in the concord grape it's uh bay state series so real quick the bay state series is a super uh super pigmented very likely to stain i don't know that there's even going to be enough to swab but it's a good purple. It's a. It's just such a good purple. It's just rich, and I'll hold it up real quick. You do have to be careful, um, making sure you clean your pen in between inkings with this. Yeah. It has a different pH level than all the other inks, the Base State series. Yeah. Um. So some funky things can happen in your pen. They if you're definitely not can. Uh. Also, I find that you probably want to dedicate a pen to it. So when I get my eco a little bit later today, it's gonna be the Base State pen, and that's it. It can be a little harder to clean out. With uh, the Base Aid series, a little bit of bleach um, diluted in water, um, as opposed to ammonia. The bleach actually really works on helping clean up Base Aid stains. Um, it's, the Base Aid series are notorious for being a bit high maintenance, yes. but vibrant in color, so there's, there's there, a trade off there. There were, is, I've, honestly, I've had, oh, see, and then this is, sorry. I've had a. <laughs> Matches pen. your hair. It does. 
See, these are my colors. <laughs> uh, I've had a pen that has Bay State Blue in it, and aside from just flushing out the, the nib and feed, I don't have any problems with it. And you can mix the Bay State series with each other. Which is really cool to kind of get your own creation. Between I, blue, pink, and purple. I haven't you make it another I haven't combination done of purple that yet. <laughs> but I really should. So this one is uh, Robert Oster, Dragon's Knight. And I just, I feel like it's a really pretty bluish purple. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't, it's not going to go, it's not going to match as well. The the Concord grape, I think. Oh, that is, is a great match. Is the match. And then the Lamy. Oh, can we talk about your little O-rings? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the thing a lot of people do too. So these are like the little uh, reinforcer yeah. circles. And then you just. And because of how I keep them on my desk, I have a little like cubby and I keep them like this. So, so at a glance, what. I can see what's what. So smart. Uh, and then the Lamy Azurite. Which... That was highly recommended as well as a good match for this pen. Let's see. So it's let's see in person. <laughs> so pretty. Ooh. <gasps> Oh, it's wow. A, that's a deep, pur that's a that rich a purple. That is a really pretty purple. And this one on the right paper, you're going to get a nice sheen as well. Like yeah. a greenish goldish sheen. I don't know if it'll come yeah. out on the Rodeo paper, but um, definitely on like a Tumaue or dot some maybe Claire Fontaine. <laughs> it's come up if you let it dry a little bit. There we go. So, and then you've got... Yeah, this is my, because I have a bottle, my go-to purple. <laughs> um, the Diatremensis Purple Violet used to be called Magenta Violet. Okay. So, um... Their English is not their first language. Okay. Sometimes when we get labels, they, um, they there's different translations yes. we get from time yes. to time. Um, I, there was, was one recently. Was it the blue? Or, or a cyan uh, versus turquoise. Yes. Um, so, you know, or pigeon blue versus columbine or, yeah. Col Colum 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 and, and apparently <laughs> that is a French type of pigeon or French word for pigeon. And then on a pricer it says dove. I'm like, doves and pigeons are really different, at least in America. <laughs> So, yeah, you don't release pigeons at your wedding. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe in some places you do. Central Park, maybe? But that's the thing, like New York City. Yeah, that like, work. I, New Yorkers in New York are like, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, this one's going to end up being, I think, a little on the pink side, but I love it anyway. And I have a full bottle, so I'm going to well, go ahead and ink this. Diatramentous inks are such well-behaved inks overall. We were talking about kind of how the Noodler's ink can have, uh, you know, a little bit around it that you have to be aware of. But the Diatramentous inks, they're well-behaved. They're easy to maintain. I'm they going, have a really good flow. Thank you. I'm going quickly, so I'm not getting a totally full fill on this thing. <laughs> this going to be, I think it's going to be good. Be a good we close the bottle. Yeah. You'll notice everything we did, we closed the bottles before we moved forward. I'm not going to say that I have dumped an entire sample on myself, but... And normally you should clean your pens before you yes. pick them up, but yes. I'm cheating here. If you ever get a pen and it doesn't write perfectly, first thing we're going to recommend is you give it a, a good cleaning. Um, and the Twisby pens do come with the wrench and the silicone grease. You, anybody who's bought a Twisby has seen that. But that is definitely not something you need right off the bat. It's uh, for long-term maintenance. I can swap this one up too. That's a good, that's a, that's a good Oh, starting to see some sheen come out and that is all right. Oh, that's cool. So it's a little, got a hint of pink, but you know, in the right light, this says too. Yeah. So any any of these, it, it, I mean, you don't have to match. You definitely yeah. don't have to match your inks to your pens. What would be your most crazy not match I've color? Never, I've never done that. <gasps> Putting like a black ink in one of my pens. Oh, oh, okay. I know, I know, I, I can't, I Rachel's can't. A matcher. A matcher. I mean, okay. you can see the remnants. This probably has the same ink in it too. <laughs> the remnants <laughs> of all my inks in here. Um, the This is the original Emerald of Chicken pen. It started nice. it all. My Emerald Chivore note that turned into Emerald Chicken. Nice. Yeah, you can see remnants of all the inks all in here. They, okay. they match. It's Yeah. I didn't it's used to, to match, but then, yeah, you get these pins like that, and it just kind of asks for it. I know. Well, the demonstrator and... Yeah. yeah. Let me let me swabby swab this one. Ooh. It does have a little bit of pink to it, it does. but... Pretty. It's really pretty. It's a good match. Nice. They're all awesome purples. 
So this is coming out at 1 p.m. today, um, Eastern Time, as well as the Diamine Ink Vent Calendar, which so I should have grabbed to show. But here's the thing. I don't want to show you the inside. Some people have. There's a dealer overseas who has shown you the full inside. But if you want to be surprised, we are giving you that gift of surprise. And it's awesome. It's really cool. It's very exciting. We only have one shipment. I don't think we're going to get more. So if you want one, you need to hop on it. And um, you want one. I don't know if they'll last beyond today. I don't know if we'll have them later in the week. I I, I don't know how quickly they're going to go. We've had a lot of people asking in our team, so. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> Internally, yeah. Um, this, if we sell out, we will be restocking. The ink vent calendar is a whole different thing. But um, definitely check it out if purple is your thing or if you like really nice writing, especially broads. Yes. Um, this is a nice pen to check out. And it might match your hair if yours looks like Adrian's. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. And uh, right, right on. on. <laughs>